Hello everyone, it's so great to see you all. It's been forever since our last recorder tutorial. I'm so sorry that I haven't been able to upload anything for all of you. Um, as you know, things happen, they come up, and the stresses of life overcome you, and you feel like you can't or have no time to put up videos on YouTube for your best friends um, in the choir, and it's just difficult and so on, but... Um, I'm here now, and I hope that you will forgive me for my tardiness, and we should get right into it. Before we start, I'd like to reintroduce you to a friend of mine, the Alto Recorder. And now this Alto Recorder, a treble recorder, we've seen him or her before. I'll, we'll call him Freddy. Um, okay, it's uh, Freddy the Alto Recorder, um, and it's an F Recorder. I guess that's why his name is Freddy, but anyway. Um, it's an F Recorder, so we're going to use this for a portion of today's rehearsal in addition to our Soprano Recorder. Always we're going to recollect ourselves, be calm, relax our shoulders, have an upright sitting position, make sure that our breathing is regular in and out. And we're going to play a C major scale. Remember, it's gonna be in two octaves. That hard part, the high notes. Those high notes, very, very tricky, but we'll see how it goes, all right? Hopefully these past weeks, you've also been using your metronome as well when you've been practicing on the recorder. We're gonna try our C major scale on the soprano and we'll do it legato, no tonguing. Ready? So make sure that your breathing is smooth and connected while your changes in your fingers are crisp and don't make a lot of motion. Very, very smooth. And so on, got it? All right, I'll count you in. One and two and ready and. One and two and one and. bad. Some of my notes are a little bit off here and there. Maybe I'm just a little excited, uh, so I have to calm myself down. We're going to now do an F major scale, and we'll tongue that. Do you remember? Da, 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 da. But the breathing is still continuous. This is an F major scale. Remember, my F major scale is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 7, and F is Do in the F major scale, because every major scale is a Do scale. And A is Mi, B flat is Fa, E is T, C is So, D is La, G is Re. You should all know your solfege for all of your scales. Every scale that we've done, you should know. So we'll do it really slowly. We're gonna do it tongued, da da da. Smooth, recollect yourselves. Calm yourselves down. Make sure that your breathing is deep and full and substantial, all right? And your exhale will be the same. Okay, so let's try our F major scale. We'll just do one octave. One and two and ready and. That's not bad. So we've got our F major scale and we played it on the soprano. Well, let me tell you something. Our treble recorder or alto recorder is F instrument, meaning that when I cover all of my fingers, it is Do, just like this, right? It's the C scale though, right? This is C. Whereas when I cover all of my holes over here in the treble recorder, it's F, but it's, it's Do. So if I play the same fingering, Do, like, let's pretend that this was the soprano recorder. This would be C, this would be D, this would be E, F, G, A, B, C, right? For the soprano recorder. For the treble recorder, it's actually F, which is Do, G is Re, A is Mi, B flat is Fa, C is So, and then D is La, E, and then 
ET, and then fa, which is 0, 2. So it's an F major scale. Let's try this. You might be a little bit confused. So let's play our C major scale one more time, just one octave. Now you remember those fingerings, right? For your C major scale. Let's play this. So it's the same, it sounds pretty much the same as this, except it's just a little lower. It's because this major scale that I play is the F major scale. So when I play all of the holes covered, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, it's F do, whereas this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, C do, but both of them are do's. This is D re, this is G re, this is E me, this is A me, this is F fa in the C major scale, of course, this is B flat fa in the F major scale, this is C so, this is G so in the C major scale. So you're getting it. The fingerings are all the same, except this is scaled to the F major scale, while this is scaled to the C major scale. So let us just go into a couple of scales on our treble recorder, and if you don't have one, then practice playing your C major, uh, whatever scale uh, that, I've, that we're gonna go on, and practice it on your soprano recorder, so don't worry. So let's do our F major scale. Let's try it very slowly and tonguing. Ready? One, and, two, and. Not bad, that's pretty good. Um, so I'm gonna ask all of you, if you have your treble recorder, your alto recorder, practice playing your F major scale, which is very similar, or actually identical, to your C major scale on your descant recorder, or soprano recorder, all right? I'd like to take a look at a pavon by Etienne du Tertre. It's a 16th century pavon. And as I look at it, I notice that it is four quarters in its time signature, meaning that there are four beats in a bar, counting up to four, and there are four quarter notes in a bar, meaning that each quarter note gets one beat. Um, so my first bar has a half note. Two quarter notes goes into a half note, therefore that half note gets two beats. So I'll clap it, one and two and. Remember, I'm counting up to four. So after two, I'm gonna count three and four and. I gotta count up to four. The next note is a quarter note, three and. Next quarter note is a four and. Next bar, dotted half note, three beats. One and two and three and. Then the fall followed by a quarter note, which is four and. Now my next quarter, uh, my next bar contains four quarter notes each one receiving one beat. So let's do that. One and two and three and four and, followed by a bar that contains one whole note. Four quarter notes go into a whole note. Therefore, a whole note gets four beats. One and two and three and four and. Next bar, I have a half note, two beats, one and two and. Next, two notes are quarter notes, three and four and followed by a bar that has four eighth notes, one and two and. So I'm gonna go one and two and, followed by the two quarter notes, three and four and. If I were to count it properly, it would be one and two and three and four and, and so on. You should all be proficient in your clapping and counting. Make sure that you're able to do that. If you can, good for you. If you can't, make sure you practice. All right, so let's take a look at this. We're not going to pay attention to the repeat signs. We'll go right ahead from beginning all the way to the end. And I want you, when you play this, think about the shape of the music and we'll maybe pay attention to a few details here and there, 
but I want you to incorporate tonguing and legato and double tonguing and so on to see what kind of works. For the most part, I'm going to play this pretty legato. Okay, so let's try it. One and two and three and four and ready and two and count and play. Okay, not bad. <laughs> um, I wanted to take a look at the very beginning, and I want to feel more of a shape, not just playing the notes. Think about this. It's not very musical. I want to make sure that it's singing. All music has to have a singing quality. If I were going to sing it, da, 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 I want you to play it like that, have that singing quality. Let's try it like that. Now it builds upon it. And it's going to resolve. Do you notice that that end of the phrase and then the next part It's a little bit plaintive on this next part. Each phrase has its own unique character. Play around with the character by adjusting your dynamics and your tonguing. How do you adjust your dynamics? And what are dynamics? It's louds and softs, pianos, fortes, mezzo, fortes, mezzo, pianos, medium, soft, medium, loud. Well, the more you blow, the louder it is, the less you blow, the quieter it is. Also, however, you will notice that the more you blow, the pitch gets affected. So, however much you blow, it will affect the pitch. So remember, you only have a window, all right? Otherwise, if you blow too hard, it'll break, all right? So know what your limit is on each individual note. But there is wiggle room, so try it. Let's take a look at that second phrase on the C. play it a little bit more diminutively. Let me 
play it a little bit more majestically. So I'm playing this phrase in so many different ways to fiddle around with it. And I always have to be loose and free in my breathing. My breathing will help me in playing a very melodic tune, all right? This tune has to be singing. And the best way to have wonderful singing lines is by making it rise and making it fall, making it ebb and making it flow, all right? Adjusting your dynamics. Let's listen to that last half starting on the F, the half note. Nice, all right? So I want you to adjust it. We're gonna try it one more time, and I'm also going to provide you with a an accompaniment so that you get a better sense of how it goes. I'll count you in. One and two and three and four and ready and two and play. I hope that you will practice this playing around with your articulation. The best way to practice articulation is on your scales. So playing on this, developing on this, as we know this is in an F major scale, so we will play our F major scale with many different articulations. Let's try it soft at the bottom and going loud at the top and then going soft again. Let's see how that goes. Notice that? Let's do the same thing and we're going to tongue it. Da da da. Make sure that your breathing is still smooth. Not bad. Let's do the dugga dugga or the diddle diddle. Dugga dugga. All right, on the F major. Going back to the pavan in the very beginning, let's play around with that. And so on. Play around with it and you'll start to discover the beauty in this music. It's not just the notes that make it resonate within us and our souls, but it's also the way it's being played. So you need to capture the spirit of the music, not just by playing the right notes, but also playing it musically and thinking of it in a melodic and singing line. It's a very difficult task that I'm asking you, um, that I'm setting for you, but you know what? I think that you can do it. You just always have to be mindful of it. Now, we shouldn't forget about our alto recorder because for those of you who um, have your alto recorder, as you have to uh, know your F major scale, also it'll be a good idea to practice on your 
treble recorder, and we'll just do a little bit of it, maybe the first half, so, and practice the whole thing though. And this is what it will sound like. and so on. Practice the Vavon if you have an alto recorder on your alto recorder, but also practice it on your Descantor soprano recorder. I know that you're just starting um, the alto recorder, or you're just re uh, acquainting yourself with the notes over here, so it'll take a little bit of time, but the best thing to remember is key notes. This is a G in my soprano recorder, but in the alto recorder, it's a C. G is a so in the C scale, but G is so in the F scale because this is an F, uh, an F instrument. In the soprano recorder, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is an E, which is um, E me. But in the F scale, it's A because A is me in the F major scale. So I think about that, you know, C, D, E, things like that. This open would be a D in the soprano, but on the, on the alto, it would be a G. I just have to remember that, okay? Oh, we've done so much. Um, I don't even know where to begin or where to end. I don't know what to say. I'm completely done. I'm tired. <laughs> so, you know what I'm going to ask you all to do? Practice. It's so wonderful to see you. And I hope that uh, you will practice your scales, breathing, articulation. Don't forget about the minor scale, the law scale. We didn't do that today. We'll have to uh, pick that up on the next recorder uh, tutorial, but we'll do that next time. But make sure that you practice your minor scales too. The minor scale is a law scale, right? It's not a do scale. Major scales are do, minor scales are law. And I think we did the D minor scale. I'm not sure, I don't remember which one we did. Make sure you practice that and practice your pavon. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of the week, everyone, and I will see you very, very soon. Goodbye.